Hello and welcome to a new High Cut short clip. In this video, I'll show you the new features in the Catalog Editor and Report Manager. We start with the Catalog Editor. It's now possible to create a column in every table according to your own ideas. Outside of the factory standard catalog, this was not possible until now. In addition, an alias name can be defined for each column which should facilitate the understanding of the table. In the table ISD Molding Tools in the catalog User Defined Molding Tools, the column WZNR Bottom has been added. Tools can thus be assigned more clearly to a top or bottom side. Also, it is now possible to add your own semi-finished products for plates. For this purpose, the catalog User Defined Plates has been added to the Factory Standards catalog under User Defined Semi-Finished Products. When creating a new table for this catalog, select the corresponding plate type in the Category field and assign a table name. After you have confirmed the dialog with OK, the table can be filled with values. The next topic is the Report Manager. In the general options, you can determine whether only the visible part of the structure in the structure list or everything should be exported. The settings for the structure list allow you to specify whether an empty row should be inserted between the assemblies. After exporting the bill of materials, you will find the empty rows here again. In the filter settings and the formulas for the user-defined attributes, there is a suggestion list of functions. When you type in add dot, already selected functions appear according to the respective data type. For headers and footers, you can now enter placeholders, for example to include the date or the user in the display. The info symbol gives you a little help on the placeholders. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Enjoy designing with HiCut. See you soon.